You have an iPad or an Android tablet and you'd like to use it as a second monitor for your Windows PC or Mac. I have an old iPad Air 2 and I want to connect it to my Windows 10 PC. I'm going to show you a smooth and cheap solution that works, that is Do It Display. Hi, my name is Enrico and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. You may have watched older videos and reviews where they were saying that the zero lag claim that Duet is making was actually not corresponding to reality. But this has now changed, since in February 2022, Duet has released a new version. It has substantial reduction in latency, greatly improved performance for NVIDIA graphic cards, and significant reduction in latency and improvement in quality for live users. Do It Display now works smoothly and almost without any lag. Before installing and going through the app, let me show you the final results. So first, why would you use your tablet as a second monitor? Well, there are a ton of good reasons, and these are just some examples. The tablet can be used as a second monitor where you want to park an application you want to keep an eye on. For example, the Outlook inbox or the calendar, or your Teams chat. I find it's great to use it in combination with a whiteboard when you're doing graphic facilitation. If you have an Apple Pen or another stylus, you can take full advantage of your iPad and smoothly write or draw on it. So here, for example, I've opened the Microsoft whiteboard. With my Bamboo Fine Line 3, I can write on it and I can use my fingers to insert sticky notes, type some text, move objects around and zoom in and out. Your tablet is basically becoming a touch screen. It's also a great application to use your iPad as a second monitor when you travel, when obviously you can't take your large monitor with you in the suitcase. Another application I find very useful is when doing Zoom video calls. If you enable the dual monitor feature, you'll be able to keep two views on the two different monitors. So for example, you can share screen on the main monitor, but still keep the gallery view or your view or the speaker view on the other monitor. So you always have a feeling for how you look like or for your audience. I'm saying that Duet allows you to use the tablet as second monitor, but actually it can be your third or fourth monitor. You can use the tablet for whatever application where the touch feature could be useful. For example, for viewing images, zooming in, and scrolling with your finger the image gallery. If you're liking this video and want to support me, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch it. Thank you. So how can you achieve all of this? with a simple application called Duet Display. It's an application that works on Windows and Mac that allows you to turn your iPad or tablet in a second display. What you need is a tablet, an iPad in my case, and if you're using Duet Display, then you will need a cable, lightning that goes in the iPad and USB that goes to the computer. There's also the option for wireless connection that we'll see in a moment. To download the application to your computer or Mac, go to duetdisplay.com. Here we can read that it's fast, built by ex-Apple engineers, delivering a retina display at 60 frames per second with zero lag. Productive and allows using the touch features of your tablet. If we look at the pricing plans, excluding enterprise, we have two options. Duet Display, which is the application that I'm reviewing now, and Duet Air. Duet Display comes at a one-time purchase of $14.99. And it has all of the functions that you've seen in this video that are totally enough for me. Duet Air offers everything in Duet Display, plus the possibility of wireless connection, increased performance, pixel-perfect rendering, and advanced gesture control. There's actually one more option that is Pro. I don't know why this is not really well advertised here, but you have to scroll down to the bottom of the website to find it. You should evaluate the Pro version if you're doing professional drawings on your iPad. It offers added pressure and tilt sensitivity, hover, palm rejection, and predictive line rendering to make a truly natural drawing experience. So let's focus now on the Do It Display option. Click on Get Started below, and then download the version for your operating system. Run the installer on the computer, and then download the Duet application on your tablet. Once you've sorted out the payment steps, select Wired if you've chosen Duet Display. Here select the operating system of your tablet, iOS in my case, but you can also choose Android, and also connect to another desktop. This works only if you've purchased a Duet Air option. So let me go back to iOS, launch the application on your tablet, and then connect the Lightning to USB cable and connect the USB end to your computer. The two devices will connect automatically. You're able to change frame rate, performance, and adapt the resolution. The higher the resolution, the smaller will the objects appear on the iPad, meaning that you'll be able to fit more content on the screen. 
depending on where you want to position the tablet respective to your PC, you can go to your display settings and change the position of the tablet monitor. It's display number three for me. Now I've set it up at my right. And that's it, you're ready to go. So let's see if it's really zero latency. I've opened a Microsoft whiteboard and a Word newspaper template on my laptop screen. Now let's drag the Word document from the PC to the iPad. And really, it feels like there is almost zero latency. You now have an additional monitor for your home office or for your travel. If you want to learn more about other useful productivity tools, you should definitely check my website. There you'll find free courses, downloadables and tutorials. Now, what if you need to do the inverse process? That is sharing your iPad screen or iPhone screen to your computer. Well, I got you covered. You should definitely watch this next video here where you will learn exactly how to do it.